little bit while I am in the car as usual. Um, so today is January 1st, 2020, so Happy New Year. Um, just wanna, I just got off work about 7.30 this morning, came home, took a, um, a short nap. Last night was my last official third shift, so thank God I don't have to do that anymore. 2020, I should be able to get more rest and continue to work on my, um, my health, which is what this video is all about. I just wanna give you guys an update on my health. Um, sorry that the lighting is not that great. The sun is reflecting off the snow, which is washing me out. So let me try something here. It's a little better. So Monday, I went to my doctor. Um, actually, it wasn't my primary doctor. It was this, a special, one of the specialists that I see for diabetes. Um, so I, since I got out of the hospital on October 1st, um, I've had several appointments with my primary doctor as well as different specialists. Um, the specialist I saw on Monday, I've been waiting since October 1st to see her. Um, this was the first appointment anybody in that department had, so I had to wait literally almost three months to get in there. It was crazy. Um, so just give you, for those of you that's watching my channel for the first time, I um, just want to give you a little backstory. So in April, I was diagnosed with, April 24th, I was diagnosed with, with diabetes. I was left to try to um, manage it with weight loss and diet changes. Um, but on October 1st, well, in September, around September 11th, um, my numbers just went all out of whack and it wasn't anything that I necessarily did to cause them to go out of whack, they just, they just did. Um, and it took me almost three weeks to realize that something was wrong enough that I needed to go to the hospital, which is how I ended up in the emergency department on October 1st. Um, October 4th, October 1st I left, with, um, left the hospital with a prescription for metformin. October 1st, uh, 4th I followed my primary doctor and given insulin. Um, Mid-October, I was given Jardians, um, and also my metformin prescription changed. Um, in November, my metformin prescription changed again in preparation of bringing me off of insulin because my numbers were, were so well. Which brings me to the appointment yesterday, or Monday. Um, so I met with the endocrinologist for the first time. And um, one of the things they do in the office is um, take your A1C. So she took my A1C right away, and um, I knew my blood sugar was, my blood glucose was supposed to be high because I had taken it before I uh, left work that morning, and I didn't like how high it was. It was like 153, which is way lower than what it was when I was in the ER, but it still was, um, to me, it, it was too high. Um, that's about what it was when. Um, consistently when they diagnosed me in April, but um, she took my blood with my uh, A1C, and um, because it's a rapid test that they do in the office, um, they got the results back right away, and um, she was astonished. Um, just like my primary doctor back in April and back in November, um, both of them are amazed at my progress. When I um, saw my primary doctor on October 4th, that's when he told me he was giving me the insulin. And um, as he walked out, the nurse came in and gave me a pneumonia shot. And she was talking to me about um, the insulin and um, how it was supposed to work and things like that. And I looked at that lady and I told her that um, by the time I go on my cruise in, in January, which is just a couple of days away, man, it's like, it's really horrible. Um, by the time I go on my cruise in January, I'm going to be off insulin. That's what I told her. Um, but, uh, um, again, I went to follow up my primary in November, and he was so proud of my numbers that he was like, okay, well, we're going to prepare to start taking you off the insulin, but we um, not going to do, do it just yet. He didn't say exactly when, um, but, like I said, my metformin prescription was changed at that time. Um, at the price that I was doing, um, two, 
one 500 milligram tablet per day. I mean, um, twice a day. Um, so he changed that to two 500 milligram tablets twice a day. So um, two in the morning, two in the, in the evening. And um, so I went to, like I said, she took my A1C on Monday and she was like, I just want to go over your A1C numbers with you since um, you got the diagnosis. I'm like, cool. You know, um, just want, you know, it's always nice to see where you started and where you um, where you are today. So she said, when you when I started, when I was first diagnosed um, April 24th, my A1C was um, seven point. Uh, it's like it's horrible. It was seven point um, three. When I landed in the emergency room on October first, it was twelve point three. No, twelve point nine. And then um, when I did my follow-up last month, my doctor just wanted to see where it was. Um, and even when he got the results back, he didn't expect it to be as low as it was. I went from 12.9 to 12, to 9.5 in, in just under two months. Um, and then she took it yesterday, uh, Monday, and um, my A1C is better now than it was when I was diagnosed in April. It's down to 7.2. So. I'm really happy where 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 my numbers are, and I knew it was getting better because um, you know anybody that has diabetes out there, if you don't have a diabetes and you have questions about it um, or about living with it, or if they, the doctor told you that you're pre-diabetic and you have questions, um, definitely feel free to um, leave your um, questions down below. And I'll do the best I can to to answer any questions you might have. Um, but yeah, um, they were so surprised that my numbers were where they were that um, she told me yesterday that she is going, or Monday, this, I'm sorry, I keep saying yesterday, coming off third shift, um, my days are still kind of out of whack. Um, but yeah, she told me that she was uh, was in agreement with my doctor that it's time for me to start coming off the insulin. So I was taking 25 units of insulin a day. Um, so now they dial, she dialed it back to 20 units a day. She's like, I'm just gonna dial it back slow, um, but of course, you know your body, you know how you feel on the insulin, you know how you feel without the insulin. So if you, um, when me dialing it back, if you notice that um, you're not feeling right, always you can always go back up. So that was good to hear. And the other thing she did is, um, Jardians is a, a prescription that um, helps you, your body excrete the extra sugar. Um, so she, up that, that prescription. The new prescription is gonna be 20 milligrams, um, 25 milligrams a day. Um, but the thing is, is I just gotten a, um, I just picked up my new prescription literally like two days before. So she was like, um, don't worry about um, this new prescription that I'm putting through until you get back from your trip. Go ahead and enjoy your trip with the prescription that you have, don't throw it away. Um, she was like, the prescription I have is 10 milligrams um, once a day. So she's like, just keep taking that prescription until you run out. And um, by the time you get back, you should be close to running out if you pick up the new prescription. Okay, cool. So um, she was telling me that because she's up in that prescription, I might find myself um, urinating a lot more. So um, just, that's just something to prepare myself for. Um, she really encouraged me to continue to do everything I've been doing. Um, also carry my water bottle, which is, I have a 40 ounce water bottle that I um, carry, carry with me on a regular basis. Um, and then I, I try to keep ice in, in my refrigerator, whether I'm buying it or making it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a, um, the, the apartment I live in, don't have the connections for um, the ice maker, so I'm not even gonna go that route. Um, yeah, so the updates was just really good. So she, they told me to go ahead and go on my trip next week and have a good time, not worry about um, my, my numbers or anything like that. Just enjoy myself. And when I get back, they're going to put a plan in place um, to not only help continue to maintain my, um, my blood sugar, blood glucose numbers, but also um, get me to a point where I can be weaned off all medication and lose weight in the process. So one uh, prescription they are they put through to the to the, the insurance to see if they will approve it is Ozempic, 
which is um, one of those um, diabetes medications that you only um, have to inject yourself once a week. So that right there is a huge improvement for myself, um, to me alone, because I, I hate needles, I hate sticking myself. Um, that's one, that's two of the hardest things I have to do um, concerning this disease, um, is to give myself the, the insulin injections as well as to give myself the um, prick my finger three or four times a day, sometimes more, uh, depending on how high or low my numbers are, um, just to check my blood glucose. So much so to the fact that um, these two fingers, especially my uh, middle finger on my right hand, um, I'm starting to develop a callus on the tip. So uh, the sooner I can stop having to do this kind of stuff, the better. So that way I can get um, some sort of normality back to my, my skin. Yeah, that's going to be it for this New Year's Day um, message. I'm actually on my way to um, a New Year's Day celebration at some family house. I'm going to go over there and see what that's all about, hang out with them for a little bit. And then I'm going to try to make it to the gym. It's a brand new year. I want to start off right, especially since my schedule has changed. I want to get back in the gym and start working on uh, my, my physical goals. Um, but other than that, um, I just got to get ready for my trip. You guys are going to see a lot more content, especially within the next couple of weeks. Because um, I'm taking the camera with me to vlog my trip. Um, and I'm going to be doing some videos over the next couple of days in preparation for my trip. So it should be fun. Um, yeah, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm all, about to pull up to, the, to my family house in just a moment. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about um, living with diabetes, go ahead and leave those comments down below. I'll um, do a separate video, separate Q&A video on that. And then, um, in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you follow me on uh, Twitter, under, um, my Twitter and Instagram is at creativelyme underscore. And um, by following me there, you'll get all the updates on what's going on with my health. In the meantime, I'll see you guys later.